Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Kids Rock here at Rocco Baptist Church. I hope you had another great week. Well, I'm excited to get started, so let's go. Go get your Bibles. All righty, do you remember your memory verse? This is the last week we're going to do this one, okay? It was John 20, verses 30 and 31. Okay, remember John is in the New Testament because it's about Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All righty, so you got it? If you haven't quite found it yet, that's okay. Just follow along on the screen, but let's say it together. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, the Bible. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in heaven. And that was John 20, verses 30 through 31. Well, boys and girls, as I was getting ready for our, for our children's lesson today, I was thinking about how beautiful it's been this past week. It was almost spring-like. I even saw some little teeny flowers trying to push their way through that snow we had the week before. And it was just a wonderful sight, wasn't it, boys and girls? But before that warm weather we had this week, the outside kind of looked kind of dead or, or sleeping. And yet a new life was emerging out of the darkness. Well, this week, as I was preparing this lesson, I was thinking about the new life going on outside, and I started to think about the transform transformation excuse me, of a caterpillar into a butterfly. And you know what that looks like? Well, look at the picture on the screen. Well, one day, the caterpillar stops eating and hangs himself upside down on a twig or a leaf and spins himself a cocoon, or some people say a chrysalis. Well, within this protected casting, while he's in there nice and snugly, the caterpillar radically transforms its body and emerges into a beautiful butterfly or a moth. Well, from the looks of that cocoon, it looks like the caterpillar might have died, doesn't it? But from this death looking was a beautiful butterfly was going to appear, appear excuse me. Maybe that's why people see the butterfly as a symbol of hope or endurance or life. Butterfly symbol, the struggle that people have endured to emerge to a better person. Butterflies are also this, the symbol of resurrection. Do you know what that word means? It means rising from the dead. Our Bible story today is about someone who rose from the dead. Well, we all know that Jesus rose from the dead, but that's not who I'm talking about. This is somebody else. Do you remember who it could be? Well, his name starts with an L. It was Lazarus. The Bible only mentions Lazarus a few times. However, his sisters, do you remember who they were? That was Mary and Martha. They're mentioned several times in the Bible, and Jesus visited their house frequently. In addition, the Bible says that Lazarus was the one Jesus loved. So we are assuming that Lazarus was very close to Jesus, and he probably visited him a lot. So let's find our stories, okay? Our story is going to be in Luke 11, Verses 1 through 45, same chapter that we are our memory verses in. Okay, have you got it? Now, I want you to read this with your parents again tonight, okay, to get some more of the story than what I'm going to tell you. But it's Luke 11, verses 1 through 45. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Put on those listening ears and look at the pictures. All righty. A messenger came to tell Jesus that a friend of his called Lazarus was very ill. Jesus had stayed at his house where Lazarus and his sisters Mary and Martha lived. Jesus was a long way away from Bethany where Lazarus lived. And instead of rushing to help his friend, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death, but will bring glory to God and his son. Jesus stayed where he was for another two days. And then he said to his disciples, Let's go back to Judea. So they headed off to Bethany in Judea. It was where Lazarus lived with Mary and Martha. Jesus explained, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going to make him wake up. His disciples replied, Lord, if Lazarus is sleeping, he may get better. They thought Jesus was talking about a natural sleep. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I am glad I was not there when he died, but all this is to help you believe. Let's go to Lazarus. So they continued on their journey to Bethany. 
Lazarus had been in his tomb for four days by the time they got there. When Mary heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Your brother will rise again, Jesus said. I know he will rise again in the last day, sighed Martha. But Jesus told her, I am the one who raises the dead and gives them life again. Anyone who believes in me, even though he dies like everyone else, shall be alive again. Do you believe this, Martha? Jesus asked. Yes, said Martha. I believe you are the Son of God. Martha rushed back to Mary. Jesus is here and he's asking for you. Mary got up at once and rushed to find Jesus. She fell at his feet, weeping, and said, Lord, if you had only been here sooner, my brother would not have died. Well, Jesus was deeply moved by her grief and asked her, Where have you put the body of Lazarus? he asked. Come and see the tomb, Lord, she replied. Jesus wept. Those watching mutter, muttered, See how he loved Lazarus. But some of them said, Jesus opened the eyes of the blind man. Why didn't he keep this man from dying? Jesus was deeply moved. The tomb was a cave with a large stone across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. Martha was shocked. My brother has been dead for four days, Jesus. There's going to be an awful smell. Jesus replied, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they rolled away the stone. And then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know you always hear me, but I am saying this so the people standing here may believe that you sent me. Then Jesus commanded in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and the cloth around his face. Take off the grave clothes and set him free, said Jesus. Everyone was so amazed. Many of the Jews who had come to comfort Mary and Martha saw what Jesus did and believed in him. Wow, Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. Well, did you realize that Jesus actually predicted this when he was talking to his disciples about raising Lazarus? Let's look back at that story at John eleven four. Okay, here it is. When he heard this, Jesus said, The sickness will not end in death. No, it will be for the glory, so that God's Son will be glorified through it. Hmm, so he's saying that he's not really going to be dead, but I'm going to show you that, and it's going to glorify God. Well, so it must have been a surprise to the disciples when two days later, Jesus said Lazarus had died. They thought he wasn't going to die. Well, Jesus said that him said to them, we're going to go to Lazarus in Bethlehem near Jerusalem. Well, the disciples were kind of worried because they knew the religious leaders in Jerusalem were out to get Jesus. So the disciples suspected that something dramatic was going to happen, something really cool. Well, in a way, when Lazarus stepped out of the tomb into the new life, it was sort of like that butterfly coming out of his cocoon. However, there's a lot more meaning to this passage than this, just that. Eventually, Lazarus was going to die again, even though the Bible doesn't tell us about it, but we know it's going to happen. But death, no doubt, will still be defeated by Jesus' powers. It allows us to live forever with Jesus. It is the power that Jesus gives us, that hope that we have. Jesus brought Lazarus back to life after he died. This shows that death does not have the final word when we believe in Jesus and his hope. Jesus promises that if we believe in him, we will have life even when we die. That means because we believe in Jesus, we can live with him forever in heaven, even though our bodies themselves may die. That's important news, isn't it, boys and girls? For people who know Jesus, Jesus gives us hope. But do you remember what Jesus asked a question of Martha? Do you remember what she said? 
or what he said? Let's look it up. It was John verse, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. So here, I'm going to read it for you, boys and girls. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they may die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. And he asked her, do you believe this, Martha? Well, Jesus asked Martha, do you believe this? And Martha said that she believed that Jesus was the Son of God. So if we believe that, we too can have a new life forever in Jesus. Well, when a butterfly comes out of his cocoon, and I got a little pretend butterfly here, we say that it's a new life because it's beautiful and it's free. That's sort of how it is when we get a new life in heaven because we believe in Jesus. We will be happy and free forever. So the next time you see a little butterfly in a few more, maybe a few more months or so, you will remember that just as that butterfly has a new life when it emerges from the cocoon, so will we have a new life when we go to heaven. Now, before we close in prayers, I want to ask you to do a special challenge for me this week. I have it all listed tonight at seven o'clock, okay? I want you to make butterflies out of anything you can find around your home, okay? Because our local radio station, WPER, collects these butterflies and, the, and they make them and they put a little note with them and they send them to people to give them hope. Well, hope to get through this pandemic, maybe hope for an illness or a sadness to end, but especially the hope in Jesus. Can you do that for me this week, boys and girls? All right, well, let's say our prayer together. Here we go. Bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me, okay? All right, boys and girls. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for the beautiful weather you sent us this week. Thank you for creating beautiful creatures like the butterfly. I will remember that Jesus gives us hope and new life. Please help those who are sick or sad, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, so next week, bye-bye.